in 2003 uh, when we hired Dr. Scott. We knew he was a great guy, but we, we never dreamed that he would be the number one community college president in the United States, and he is. No person has touched more people and changed more lives here in Wake County than Dr. Steve Scott. Dr. Scott has this unique combination of being um, humble, committed to family, to his students, to the college, but also visionary and creative and um, has a great sense of humor and can always liven up a room, but also meet with CEOs and executives and explain why this is the area to create jobs and to grow their businesses. So he's that great combination of humility and vision. It was Dr. Scott's dream that all the people in Wake County would have easy access to a quality education. So as we built our campuses, we put them around the major thoroughfares. And for those people for whom getting to a physical location might be difficult, Dr. Scott also acquired funding from the county so that we could expand Wake Tech online. We have 10 locations and we serve approximately 74,000 students. That's one in 10 of the adults in Wake County. I would say that Dr. Scott has realized his dream. He's made us more innovative of in college. We're more creative because of his leadership. And we're able to do some out of the box thinking to help take us to the next level to meet the needs of our community and those students who attend Wake Tech. The different things that we have been able to accomplish, and it's all because of his leadership, because of the ability of letting people do what they do best, uh, just has made it the last 13 years incredible. Dr. Scott is genuine. He always strives for the best and everything he does has a reason. And he's a great family man. I've had the opportunity to work with him now for almost half his career here in Wake County and I couldn't be more proud of the impact Wake Tech has had on this community and Dr. Scott has had on this community. You are an inspiration to the leadership here at this college. Your legacy of innovation and excellence will continue to inspire this college for many years to come. Dr. Scott has always exuded a quiet leadership. He's been willing to let me try things and let me fail and not be penalized for it. And I've appreciated that because I've grown from it. So I'm gonna miss Dr. Scott. I don't think he's replaceable, but he'll always hold a special place in my heart. Dr. Scott has been a mentor and an inspiration to all of us. He has encouraged us year after year to get a little better and to exceed expectations. And because of that, I believe that he has prepared us to face a challenging future. We're hopeful to get another great president, but, but rest assured, you won't get another Dr. Scott. You have been an incredible role model for me, for our board, and our community. You will be sorely missed, but be assured, I will be reaching out to you again for help, assistance, and a cold beer. I started here as an instructor. I started the college as a temp some 20 years ago. And I'm now serving as a vice president of curriculum education. That's a dream I never thought I would achieve. When Dr. Scott came, I was the registrar, and he's given me opportunity after opportunity to show my contributions to the college. He's just been a good leader. He's been a good friend. He's been a colleague. He's been an advocate. He's been a sounding board. All of those things wrapped up in one for me. One of the things that I think would be appropriate for him to get his fishing pole and, and put it in the back of that red Corvette and come and fish with me. Congratulations, Dr. Scott.